So yeah, Pav, thanks for joining me. Um, talk talk me through Derby season so far. You got off to a decent start at the start of the season, but so far in the last couple of games, you lost one against Burton and you drew against Villa. Yeah, I mean it's been a bit of a strange. I mean, the last few years we've been playing this four three three football. Yeah. Um, attacking. Um, started with McLaren. Oh God. Um, we've been close. Don't bring him up, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we mean we played this for- formation that relied on Chris Martin uh, moving the ball quickly. Chris Martin holding it up, and then midfielders bombing on. And that first season with um, McLaren, it's beautiful football. When we lost playoffs, everybody knows. Next season, sort of filtered all. About February time, we were top of the league. Martin got injured, Ben got injured. Uh, Talk about uh, Mr. McLaren coming to join you boys. (laughs) Um, And we all know how that ended. Yeah, yeah. Um, Paul Clement came in. So I think we played that football. We've got used to that football the last few years. Yeah, It's not work, though. That's those set of players, everybody loves them because they've been. We've had a settled squad over the last. Although we've had a few additions, like the fate, spine of the team's been settled. Yeah. Um, Pearson's come in. Um, when he first his name was tatted around, I don't think he was a man for the job. Yeah. But I think he's a bloke who's going to. He's got that character to sort these players out. Yeah. And he wants to change the style of football. Yeah. And I think Darren Bent came out today. And he goes, we're all trying to buy into what the manager wants. Yeah. Um, and he's trying to change it. I think the way he got Leicester promoted, with fast, pacey wingers, yeah. uh, quick strikers. So I think players are trying to get used to that. He's trying to figure out what he wants. We've not had the best of starts. Last season we didn't have the best of starts, but on Boxing Day last season we beat Fulham to go top of the league. Yeah. Championship's a weird league. He's got the players in he wants now. We bought Vidra. Um, well, um, can't remember the other guy from what for now. Um, the, Inanya. Inanya. Kichi yeah. Inanya. Um, and Wilson, James Wilson from uh, Man U. So I think now we've got a settled team. We can see where we can go. Now, you mentioned uh, you mentioned the settled squads. Um, I know... I'm a fine one to talk about management, um, but you seem like you've had quite a few, fair few managers in recent years because you've gone through like Paul Clement, Steve, what is, whatever his name is, um, and then obviously now Nigel Pearson. How's that? How's that done to like the style of play and you know, and I, and the mentality from the fans as well? Because you can't really get used to someone before someone else comes through the door. I mean, Derby. I think when we had Clough, um, we weren't playing like stunning football. But everybody touted Derby as a model of sticking with the manager and giving him a plan. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think he was going to take us to the next level to the Premier League. McLaren nearly got us there. And then I think he would have got us there if it wasn't for you lot. Um, Mr. Ashley's cash. <laughs> and we saw plenty of that on the news today. Oh, um, yeah. Matthew yeah. <laughs> Throwing around um, the 50s. And then Clement was a bit of a strange one. Yeah. Because it was like... We signed him, got him on board, and then gave him some money, and then bought like Bradley Johnson six million, Jacob Butterfield four million, and it just, for some reason it just didn't work. Um, so I think now Pearson, we've just got to realise the club's changing. Everybody said this team needed a few tweaks. I think this team has failed now. We need to change it a little bit, yeah. change the mindset, and this season not write it off. But if we get the playoffs, we get the playoffs. Yeah. Pearson, his team, his the style he wants. Next season, go again. I think that's what he did at Leicester. He finished like ninth yeah. first season. And next season, they went up or something. I mean, it's, I know it's early days, but you guys are a long way away from the playoffs at the moment. Um, what's what's going on at the moment for it's you a guys? Championship. Anything yeah. can happen. Yeah, yeah. You, you, like, you'll find out from Newcastle. I mean, you've been here before, but yeah. it's you can suddenly get 10 games on the bounce. But you don't lose. Yeah. And that just shoots you up. There's always, always one team come March, April who just comes out of nowhere and just like flies into the playoffs. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not worried because I know what it's I mean, I've been watching Derby since I was eight. Yeah. Uh twenty odd years. Twenty 
27, 28 years. So it's like, I oh, know I'm used to it. So I'm not worried because I know Pearson's a man. Yeah. He's moulding the players, got faith in him. He's got a good team around him, Chrissy Powell, Kevin Phillips is there. Um, and I think we just changed our setup, scouting setup. Uh, we've got a good academy. So I think everything off the pitch, all the, everything's there. We're just I'm not worried if we don't go. I'd, I'd love to just go up, but I mean, you guys have seen it. You've come down parachute payment. Yeah. Massive difference. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It makes a world of difference. And obviously having players of some value as well. Talking about players of some value, I've said this guy's name so many times now, I'm getting sick and tired of it. Will Hughes. What has happened to Will Hughes? Because he was touted for big things and I don't hear about him nowadays. So, uh, problem with Hughes, last season he was out with... Um, so first game of the season, Bolton away. Yeah. Uh, he did his cruise ship. So he didn't come back till about... We didn't expect him back at all. He came back about April time. Yeah. Um, trying to remember who it was at home. Because he was warming up and then he he came on and he just... Even before he was... Uh, the ref put his uh, board up. Uh, everybody was just shouting his name. Um, he's looking stronger. Because everybody said he's always been a little, a little bit slight. Yeah. Um, I think the problem, and randomly I bumped into Steve Parrish last year, yeah, okay. and he goes, they looked at, um, mm. we were chatting football, obviously, and uh, he said, Will Hughes, they looked at him and a few, but he goes, they think he's a bit lightweight for the Premier League. Oh. And you look at the modern modern game, and it's very much about power. So, and, yeah. Apart from if you take away like Barcelona, which is, Seems to be like yeah, Iniesta's, your Zabis, everybody. They've got the smaller kind of. We well, can't get players. close to them, them sort of players, can you? So yeah. So I think he's. I mean, he's still young. People forget he's like he's still in the England under twenty one team. Wow. It feels like he's been. He's been. He feels like he's been around for ages. Yeah. Yeah. So I yeah. Think nothing to worry about. He'll develop. I'm um, still a class footballer. Yeah. I think another seat. Now he's had that break last season with his injury. He's beefed up a bit. I think regular to football again. And I think everybody worries that he'll go. I mean, Liverpool have been linked with him in the past. I think even you, the Jordans yeah, were linked Yeah, with him. we've been linked with him countless amount of times. I mean, I thought we might have even signed him this season uh, with Sissoko leaving. I thought he would have been ideal to, to get in there. Obviously, he knows the league as well. So I thought he would have been an excellent signing. But I mean, how many players do you lot want there? <laughs> That's a good question. I think we've got a settled squad now. Obviously, the transfer window's done now. Um, How do you feel about your transfer window? Because I mean, oh. I was look, I was looking the other day, and I was thinking Newcastle and Villa. I think have done the best business. Yeah. In the window. Yeah. And you guys have kept. Um, so you got Grant Hanley in. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Who knows it? Who knows the division? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Gale, boy Gale. Yeah. I mean, he's already banging in goals. Yeah. Top goal Brilliant. scorer. Um, you got Matt Rich. Was it Matt Ritchie from Bournemouth? Matt, Matt Ritchie has bought that one. Surprised me, like. I was just seeing him play against Malta the other day for Scotland and you, if you see the assist for funny enough I think it was for Chris Martin um, yeah the smart squad yeah absolutely awesome assist if it was like a Coutinho or some sort of Inio people would have been you know marvelling over it I mean I thought it was awesome um, but yeah our window has been fa- absolutely fantastic probably the best window we've had in absolute ages um, come out, come away with a profit as well, which is funny enough, you know. Yeah, make so, Sissoko for thirty million. Absolutely great Andrew, business. Andrew Pounds, and you probably made a profit on as well. Yeah, small profit on him. Um, and again, Richie was his replacement. Happy with that one as well. So all in all, we've we've bought well. We've bought players that have played in this division. That's the main thing. We haven't bought players from overseas that have to get used to the division. We haven't got time for that. We need players who can play like your Hanleys. Um, like Daryl Murphy Daryl Murphy exactly even him I was like uh, but again he scored the other day as well so he shut me right up with that one so see I thought that was a strange one and I thought when I thought Newcastle I did my predictions at the start of the season yeah and I thought Newcastle and Villa would struggle just because more Newcastle around the fact that you got the the Saturday Tuesday Saturday yeah an intensity and Newcastle are going to be that big name that everybody wants to be yeah so I'm going to try that a little bit harder. But after that first dodgy start, you seem to be, what was it, you had a 4-1 victory. 4-1 against Reading. 2-0 uh, against a good Brighton team. Yeah, yeah, we made them look very average, I must admit. Um, obviously, the first couple of games, we had a bit of a stuttering, a stumble there, but I think that was just us getting used to the division because obviously it's a lot more physical. 
Um, and obviously with some players like your Perez is are not that type of player. Um, that's I think that's the reason why we brought a Daryl Murphy into the side who's yeah. who's more physical and bring other players into it. And you kept um, Colback and Shelby. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not revelling on Colback too much. In fact, he was linked with you guys the other day. I, I heard. Talk me through Saturday's lineup. In your opinion, how is he going to line up, Pearson? Pearson, I reckon we're going to have the new boys. Yep. So Vidra up front. Yep. If you go on uh, Punjabi Rams Twitter, we tweeted that he scored a blinding overhead in training this week. Okay. Um, so I think he'll start up front with Wilson, maybe. Yep. Or Ben, um, and Atcher on the wing. Yeah. Then we're going to commit Sky Game Saturday evening. I think we're going to come out of the blocks quick. We need a result. Yeah. Terrible result against Burton. Um, but I think Rafa's Rafa. He's got a bit of a wily old head on him. Yeah. I uh, can see it being scrappy first half, people trying to get hold of the ball. Yeah. I think it's, there'll be a few chances. Who takes them? I'd love to say we're going to win. Head's always going to say Derby are going to win. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I'll take a draw. Yeah. Um, but I was looking today. I think the bookies have got Newcastle favourite. So yeah. So put my neck on the line. I'm gonna go two nil Derby. Ooh, okay. Vidra with two. Vidra two. You went through. Um, you went through the mid- midfield and up front. What about defence? Defensively, what are you looking like defensively? Uh, defence is pretty settled. So it's got Carson in goal. Yeah. Um, got Jason Shackle, who we sort of re-signed from Burnley. Richard Keogh, who played again for Ireland midweek. Uh, Cyrus Christie, um, who's been playing right back. He's not been having. He's, I think he was in the he was in the Ireland squad again. Yeah. Um, he's not had the season he had last season. Yeah. He was really good towards the back end of last season. I think he's just finding his feet again. Yeah. Unfortunately, left back last season when Craig Forsyth got injured. Yeah. Uh, so we bought Marcus Olsen on loan. Um, Craig Forsyth started this season. Unfortunately, the fella's gone and done his cruise yet again. Oh. So I don't think we're going to see him again this season. So Marcus Olsen will be the left back, but he's not 100% fit. So we're still developing as a team under Pearson. Yeah. And I think everybody's still trying to get to know their role and everything. We've still got some big names like George Thorne to come back. Yeah. Um. But I think every, the team are going to be fired up. They've had that international break. Yeah. I think Pearson will have given them a bit of a bit of the old hair dryer treatment. Yeah. Um, and if there's a game to get back on, get the season started again after the international break, Newcastle big boys at home. Yeah. Newcastle, when we had that disastrous season, they gave us our uh, only win that season. <laughs> <laughs> Actually on Sky as well. And yeah. It was, and it was in September. So oh, maybe gosh. Lightning can strike twice. Oh, I hope not. I hope not. Um, so, key strength for you guys. How are you going to look to play and, and win the game or get a point out of the game? And what's your weaknesses as well? How can we kind of get into the game as well? Um, well, weaknesses. We're just not passing, the, moving the ball quick enough. Yeah. I think if you guys can just get at us, move the ball quickly. Yeah. Your catch is off. Um, we do lack a bit of pay, pace. <clears throat> um, in the centre backs, and they're still a little bit susceptible to a bit of a bit of a bit of a mistake. Um, so I think if you keep coming at us, we could crack under the pressure. Yeah. Um, I think we will look to maybe just keep our shape, play two banks to four. Yeah. Um, maybe just let you have the ball, but just move sideways, not do a lot, and maybe just even though we're the home team. Yeah. Try and just try and hit you on the break. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, in terms of our lineup, I mean, I think Rafa's going to go with a pretty settled lineup. Um, sells and goal. Mixed reviews on him. Um, I won't go into that too much, but yeah, I'm sure he'll start in goal. In the fence, it's going to be a tricky one because I think Chris Martin is going to be the main focal point for you guys. Do you usually tend yeah, to Martin's play around him? Gone. I was gone, is he? Yeah, he went to Fulham on loan. Oh, wow. That's even so that's better. Fine. Vidra's going to be, um, I think Vidra, the new 8.5 million signing, is going to be our main man. Oh, gosh. And obviously, he's he's a, wasn't he from Ipswich, wasn't he? No, so he was at Watford. Watford then. Reading. Then Reading, we got, so. Anyways, back at Watford, so yeah. 
All oh, right. Okay. So, oh, I changed my lineup altogether. Then, so I was going to go with because um, I thought Martin was playing for some reason. I was going to go with uh, Kieran Clark in defence for some reason because I just think he's more of a, a stronger defender. But I think the back four will be Yedlin. We just signed him from Tottenham. He was on loan at Sunderland last season. Had a great World Cup. Yeah, great World Cup. Absolutely rapid as well going forwards. Um, in defence, Lascelles and Mbemba. Uh, Lascelles captain, I think. And then left back, probably Paul Dummett, even though I don't want to say it and admit it in, in public, but probably it's going to be him. Um, in midfield, Richie. Again, we just talked about him. Richie, excellent midfielder. Alongside Hayden and Shelby. Shelby's the key guy for us, I think. As long as we can get Shelby on the ball, I think it could be all over. Yeah, yeah, he's like a. I always, ugh, I joke and say he's like a poor man's Gerard. Um, yeah, but I was to say that, like CBG. <laughs> yeah, he loves to get the ball down and then spray passes all over the shop. Um, again, he's a bit hit and miss sometimes though. Sometimes he goes missing in games. Sometimes he's the star of the show. So again, I hope he, I hope he just gets the ball and, and just takes charge from the get go. And then Goofan, I think he's going to play left midfield um, ahead of Atsu, who we just signed on loan from Chelsea. Um, it's, it's surprising that I'm actually even mentioning him in the team because I thought he would have been gone by now but he's had a, a good start to the season and what well, fair play to him and then ahead of them will be Diame obviously you know Diame from last year when he's playing for Hull he's been pretty good for us got an assist um, for Gale um, when we played Bristol and then I think Gale might start up front ahead of Mitro so I think we're going to go how we usually do like 4-2-3-1 just one up top Obviously, we're away to you guys, so I don't think we're going to go all out. But the key for us... Gail's got pace. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And the, and the key for us is the first 20 minutes. I always say this. The first 20 minutes decides how we play throughout the game. If we get a goal in the first 20 minutes, which is pretty much what we've done in the last two games, then we'll easily cruise, cruise it. Um, if we don't, I think we might struggle and we'll be lucky to get a point. But I'm going to put my neck on the line and say that we're going to win. I think it's going to be 2-1. I think it's going to be close. But um, I think Gail and maybe Richie's going to score. Um, but I can see you guys scoring first. And that's going to kind of get us, you know, get us going, basically. Give us the kick up the arse. Because after international break, you know, you know what players are like sometimes. They're not up to speed. I think we we was on a good run. You know, we won a couple on the bounce. And then we've had this break. And then we're going into this game now thinking, ah, oh, you know, we're going to walk these guys. But I don't think it's going to be like that at all. So, fingers crossed it's 2-1. Um, Gail and Richie for me. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we'll we'll see. Tweet you on Friday, Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, definitely. Only if we win that is. <laughs> what, you'll go hiding if you don't, yeah? Yeah. Be disappearing for a day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I tell you, I'm a fan loser as well, so I might go missing as well for a bit. <laughs> Especially if we get spanked as well. Oh, man. But yeah, it's great, great speaking to you, mate. Um, yeah, see you, we'll have to do another one afterwards you know win lose or drew, draw and just go through the game and you know get both of our perspectives on it and see how yeah, yeah, definitely. how it went man but yeah it's great speaking to you bro and you mate yeah. good luck on Saturday yeah good luck to, not too much luck but yeah, yeah just good enough luck to, uh, um, to, to speak again anyway <laughs> alright well, have a good evening and you man take care bro see you later bye 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 2-0 I at least thought Brighton would have got one. I mean, this is not me being cocky, slightly confident. Obviously, we did win. But 2-0 against Brighton. The team that finished third in the league. I mean, I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. I just thought it would have been a lot harder than what i just seen out there on St. James's Park. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Sorry for being rude. My name is Fordy, a.k.a. Ford Have Mercy. Welcome to my YouTube channel if you haven't been here before. And this is the review for what I've just witnessed on St. James's Park, and you know what? I'm absolutely delighted. <laughs>